here's the way you're meant to be. His spirit, which is right in here, it, mind, spirit, and heart are intertwined in the Word of God. So that tells you where he's living. He's not living in your brain. That should help you a little. <laughs> he's trying to reform your brain so it thinks properly. And he's working from him here. But if you don't ever let him out. See, I st why am I sharing this with us? I started talking to people since I've been home. So many know nothing about Holy Spirit. They know nothing about who they are in the Spirit. How to walk in the Spirit. How to maintain a cool spirit. That's in the Bible. And all of a sudden, I started seeing, Lord, Lord we're going to get baptized in the spirit again. And you want to do something to flow out of us in a way that the world has never seen before. That's you he's talking about. Your uniqueness, he needs. See, he's doing this incredible kingdom work in us where before long, all that prejudice is pushed out of us because he couldn't flow out of us if we had it. And you know what? There's going to be such a hunger in all of us that we will do anything for Holy Spirit to flow through us. You need to get ready. You're going to have a Holy Spirit meeting this year. Now, that sounds like a real shallow prophetic word, but let me tell you something. You're about to have a Holy Spirit meeting because He needs you. And then he's going to work his way through you. And to get through you, all those crazy emotions that you're dealing with and have dealt with, he's going to start whacking them. He's going to start pointing them out to you because they're going to start. And we're going to have grace because they're going to come right out your mouth and you're going to have to catch them. See, that's how you tell demons. Because, see, when he starts working out, they're gonna, they are gonna got to come out of something, some portal. You see what I'm saying? You're going to say some things, and you're going to say, that's not God. That's nothing like God. That's a demon that just spoke through me, precious, wonderful me. <laughs> and you're going to have... And you can always count on the body of Christ to try to help you get set free. God is about to do an incredible Holy Spirit move where he says, I'm coming through my people. And those that are trying to block me, mm -mm. I'm coming through my people. And if I don't have enough or the uniqueness of who I am to come through and display who I am, I'm going to bring them in from the outside. And you know what? I'm going to send you out to go get them. Because there's a bunch out there that I'm ready for. You say, but well, that creates that fear thing rising up in me. Fear of what? Being rejected? Uh, fear of the unknown? Fear of knowing what to say in a certain situation? Listen, if somebody's in a big enough mess, they'll listen to what you have to say. Somebody called the other day, and they were in the biggest mess, and they got Ann on the phone. 
And then they started saying, well, I've heard this about y'all. She said, well, listen, do you want me to pray for you or do you want to, you called me. Do you want me to pray for you to get through this mess you call me for? Or do you want to worry about all the flaws we might have here? Or can we touch God and maybe he come down and break you out of that mess? See, you're going to have to look at people and say, what is it you really are needing? See, as these other speakers come, you need to listen to them. God sent them. But he sent me to say, get ready. He's about to do a work in you. Real simple. Because he needs you. I'm going to ask the Binions to come up one more time if they're still here. He, he, he needs you. And he's saying, grope for me and you'll find me. Get a grip on me. And all that crazy. Make an outline of your crazy emotional thoughts. They'll scare you when you read them. You'll say, I'm going back to the Dracula series. Now here, if you'll do that, you're going to come into the most vibrant, shining, glorious vessel on earth. Let's stand up. It's been different today, but we're in a different season. <laughs> and look around. If you had fear of being in a crowd, just look around. You're getting set free tonight. <laughs> That's how simple this is. <laughs> well, I'm afraid to be in that crowd. sense the spirit of God can say wait a minute pull the mask up the spirit of God can say take that mask off they need to see me shining through you when you speak to them Satan will wear you out with time and law and here's what I want to end with. If we keep passing over, this is what Passover prophecy is about. If we keep passing over each year, we're going to get there. We're going to make it. We're going to come into that fullness. And really, when it boils down to it, the only thing that's going to change this nation is a drastic move of Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is quite capable. I told somebody the other day, they were, they were going on about one of the leaders, and I said, you know, God put Herod in place, and he killed James, first of all, and that just stirred up all the Jews, excited them. Now, religion and politics always will get all messed up. And yet, without us seeing what God is doing politically, sometimes we're going to miss some things. Caesar. Herod cuts James's head off in Acts chapter 12. And then he says, the crowd liked it so much politically, I'm going to bring Peter in, put him to prison, then at Passover I'll cut his head off. Well, it forced the church to come into Rhoda's house and pray. They started praying like crazy. Forced them into prayer. A new, God has ways to get you praying. Quit saying, oh, Lord, I just need to pray more. He's got ways. They started praying and praying. All of a sudden, this angel shows up at Peter's 
where Peter is in prison and says, follow me. It, it, I loved what this says in the word. Peter didn't even know if this was real or not, what he was doing, but he had enough sense to get up and get out of prison. Seriously. You're going to have to have enough sense to just follow certain movings of the Spirit of God and not over-reasoning it. And he, the angel took him up to this prayer meeting, knocked on the door. They opened the door. The person they were praying for slammed the door in his face. They couldn't believe God had broken through. That's how we operate. Now, I want you to lift your hands right now and say, Lord, move through me. Holy Spirit, come. Come and do something in me. Let me know you. Don't be afraid to say, let me feel you. Let me see you manifest. Let me recognize you. This is the cry we have to have right now. Let me see you in the midst of the chaos. Holy Spirit, just come. Holy Spirit, fill us new and fresh. Let us walk through those streets of Vegas. Let us know what the enemy's doing. See, he's got a gift. He's made to give you discernment around the corner. It's not you, it's him. Your fear will be a spirit that blinds you. But the emotion of fear, once Holy Spirit activates it properly, you'll say, I better go the other way. Now hear me. Take one more big breath. God gave you that breath. There's a reason. He's not through with you yet. He's not through with you. He's got something he's trying to do through all that crazy thing called you. He's moving through you. Recognize his anointing. See, it never has mattered to me about the male-female thing, the white-black thing, any of that. God taught me after he visited me with Holy Spirit, he said, You submit to the higher level anointing when you see it moving. I knew the lady that helped raise us had a higher level anointing. I had enough sense to know that. See, once you start submitting to Holy Spirit, you're going to get past a lot of your issues. Because you're going to realize there's a lot going on with him then you're going to realize there's a lot going on with me. Put your hand right here. Just say, work it out. Now say, work your way through me. Just pray that prayer right now. Work your way through me, Holy Spirit. Work your way through me. All my traumas, all my pain. All my emotions, work your way through me, Holy Spirit. All my brilliance, all of how intelligent I am. Paul still had to say, Holy Spirit's got to work his way through. I'm the most learned person I know. That's what Paul said. But Holy Spirit, without him, I'm not, I'm not going to be anything. Work your way through us, Holy Spirit. Cry that out as we go into this season ahead. Work your way through us. Put your hand on somebody near you and say, He's going to work His way through you. He's going to work His way through your grief. He's going to work His way through your poverty. Not, oh, Lord, come down. He's already in you if you know it. If you don't know it, you need to submit your spirit to him tonight and say, Lord, you made me. I want to know you. I want my spirit to be all you made it to be. Father, my spirit. Just say it out loud. Father, my spirit. Father, my spirit, Lord, 
cry out to him. Father, my spirit. Now, look at somebody and say, you've got a lot for him to use. Quit corking it up. Let it work its way through all of that that you. You say, well, I don't see myself like that. God sees you. He made you. He wants to work his way through you. So we see him. Don't deny us seeing who God is in your uniqueness. 